For most of us, it's a blessed life. We live in a paradise of comfort, family, and community. We go about our day-to-day -day never having to worry about securing our basic needs, food, shelter, and clothing. So it may come as a surprise that right here in our own backyard, there are many who are lost and struggling, many without a place to live, many without a job, all without hope. At any given time, there's between 800 and 1,000 individuals living throughout Indian River County considered homeless. They often live in woods dotted throughout Vero Beach, out of sight and out of mind. Sad to say, many are families with children, children who face hunger and humiliation every day. Even more incredible is that this number includes the people who have jobs but still cannot afford housing. And sad to say, many of these disenfranchised citizens are veterans who sacrificed themselves to protect our country. I had no hope. I did drugs. I had no job and no hope. I had no hope. I had no job. I became homeless and I lost all hope. Just no hope. No hope. I came to the source and found hope. Last year, the source served over 47,000 meals to someone's son, daughter, mother, father, brother, or sister. Our vet who served in Iraq, Afghanistan, or Vietnam. What is more surprising is that many of these people have lived in our community for an average of 11 years or more. Imagine over 250 people living in the woods, often behind the shopping malls and plazas that we frequent. At The Source, we not only feed people, we help them in so many other ways, like helping them pay utility bills, filling prescriptions, providing emergency food boxes, clothing, and showers, and we are the only cold night shelter in Indian River County. We also refer our clients to state and local resources so that they can get a fresh start on a new life. The Source is a faith-based ministry, a service organization that provides counseling, food, clothing, and worship services for anybody that comes through our door. By helping just one person, one child, we can make our world a better place and our county a better environment for all of us. Um, I come to the source and they help me go to my appointment for the amnutesis for my son. Um, and they help me with a lot of counseling. Um, just about everything I needed for my child when he was born. They gave me clothing, formula, baby bed, almost everything. I mean, they, they really did help me out a lot. So I came here and got on my feet, and I've been here for four years now, coming here. I lost my home, and I've been able to come here to get free, healthy meals. I would say some of the people that I've talked to from here, the source, they gave me great encouragement. I had no hope. And I come to the source and they gave me hope. The issue of homelessness is not going away. In fact, with the strains of our national economy and our population growing older, the causes of homelessness are on the increase. But there is hope because the volunteers and staff of The Source are out there every day in the trenches, making the connections and bringing the message of faith to the down and out. That's why The Source is the trusted symbol of hope for the poor and the homeless.